Hey everybody, welcome back to my new series, um, Surviving A18. I have been away for quite some time, and this is my first video back after about three, almost four weeks of not being recording. Um, so yeah, I kind of got to get back into it. I'm going to get back into Battletech as well, but I just need to start getting started. So I thought I would try this. Alpha 18 has dropped, and it is very interesting. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't been recording lately has been because I've been so exhausted. So I, ex I apologize if my voice sounds very tired while we're playing. Um, but we're going to start a new game here. Uh, there's a lot of things that have changed. And we're going to call the game name Surviving Alpha 18. And we're going to create a new world here. Just going to call it Surviving Alpha 18. Um, so we're going to be on old Fanaku Valley. Um, so we're going to go have a look, quick look at these here real quick, just so uh, you can see where I'm playing at. So difficulty settings at Nomad, which is basically, you know, middle of the road for experienced FPS players. And I really haven't, I've dabbled a little bit in this um, alpha, so I know a little bit, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. 24 hour game cycle, everything else pretty much the same with the exceptional blood moon frequency, which I always set to 30 days. Well, I don't always, but... I like to set to 30 days because how I play, I like to, to build, to explore, to have fun, and then take on a massive horde. That's kind of what I like to do. So, um, and hopefully this series will go 30 days. I'm, I'm pretty sure it will, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, advanced player block damage 150% because you don't want to sit me sit there watching me break blocks all day so I just crank it up a little bit uh, loot respawn time 15 days makes it a little more difficult to find loot uh, I think normally what is this normally set to 30 days well, let's put it to 30 days so we don't get any loot respawns in buildings before the end of the game or before day 30 anyway uh, blood moon count 64 enemies uh, enemy spawning is always on for sure airdrops every three days with them marked on the map multiplayer claim size 71 uh, blocks for your land claim block just so that we have a half decent area that we can build in bedroll dead zone which is nice they've added this so you can change how much of a dead zone your bedroll creates for you we're going to set it to 30 blocks because like i said i want to make a nice half decent sized base bedroll duration is interesting they've added this now so how long it blocks the uh the zombies respawning from so this basically um will stop any cleared zombies from respawning uh, and other zombies from spawning in the area, which is nice. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Those are just sort of default settings, and we're going to start this game and uh, see how the terrain looks. All right, here we go, Alpha 18. As you can see, like, right away, the terrain is, like, already, like, way better than it was in the past. They've done a lot of work on this thing. Um, they've done a lot of work on the roads, on the just general terrain itself, although even though I said that they've done a lot of work on the roads, we can see this big uh, bump right here, but they've done a pretty good job of trying to get everything um, uh, into snuff. The textures have all been changed, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, so we're just, I'm going to whip through these opening quests. I mean, we all know what they are. Uh, they've streamlined them, so it's a little easier to do them. Um, so you need less materials for some things. They've highlighted stuff to make, show you what you need to do, make it a little easier. Um, and we're in the desert to start. I want to try and find um, the green biome, if we can, as soon as possible, so we can get out of here. I don't want to spend my time in the desert, I don't think. And what we'll do is we're going to do the same thing we always do. Try and find out where that trader is to start and head off towards the trader. But now, as I'm going through these, I just want to talk a little bit about why I've kind of been away for a while. Um, I've had uh, a ridiculous amount of work uh, in real life, my real life job. It's been just, things have been crazy. So, um, that's part of the reason and I've been extremely tired um, with all the work I've had to do my CPAP I'm having problems with my CPAP so I'm exhausted all the time so I mean I tried to do a couple of videos and then I was just like I can't I can't function so I had to like just stop um, for a while to kind of get my head back into things um, what are we doing here oh yeah he's a little faster um, so yeah, that's kind of where, where I've been at with that. Uh, can we make a bone knife? I think they've changed the recipe for this. Yeah. 
Let's make that real quick. Um, so yeah, um, and also too, my my kid has been um, really really popular. Done a lot of. Um, we've had a lot of requests for submissions for um, um, their acting. So they've done a lot of uh, demos and stuff. So we've been doing that too. As you can hear in the background there, it's uh, they've got a little new music system. I thought I'd leave it on. You're a little bit sluggish. I'm not going to go after this boar like I normally would because they're extremely tough now. It's like I'm not going to be taking it down with one arrow. So, um, yeah. I'm going to leave him alone for now. I don't know. Is that the trader right there? That looks like the trader to me. Alright, let's make a bow. And as many arrows as we can. So, um, the combat system is a lot different than it used to be. Um, and it's something I've had to get used to. I was really frustrated with it at first. Um, only because it's not like the last one. You can't, like your style of play from before. You just have to kind of forget it. And, you know, go with the new style. So, I, I don't deal with change very well. Um, so, I was like ridiculously frustrated for the first little bit. Um, and I was like, I can't do this. So, I uninstalled the game. <laughs> I went back to Alpha 17. And then I'm like, no, I got to do this. So, I went ahead and um, continued on. Let's do that. Now, do we have enough? I think I might take out that music system because it's starting to bother me now in the background. I'm trying to focus on this. But it might be better when we... Um, one more small stone. Eh? Yeah, see, you used to need eight for that. And they, they've changed the nodes now. This is oil shell. So, you know, if you dig this up and then dig straight down, you're going to find oil shale. So that's kind of good. Okay, here's the last stone. Let's make that campfire. And we'll just drop it on that block over here. Grab that. You don't really need to, but this kind of shows me where my starting spawn was. For posterity's sake, there we go. And there's our zombies. So, can we make a stone spear yet? No, we need more stone, I think. We got plant fibers. Yeah, we need some stone. So they've added a spear to the game, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh, that's some foul tranche. Another arrow, nice. Or another... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's going to get turned into an arrow, so... Are you enjoying that, Piggy? It's getting mad. So zombies will get mad now, too. That's the other thing. So during the day, if you're fighting a zombie, um, they'll get angry and the, they can hit you. Or not, oh my god, you're not even thinking straight now. Um, what they'll do is they'll get mad and they'll rush at you. So you, you know, there's a, a chance for them to uh, get angry at you, and you. Oh, and of course there's the dog that they added. Yeah, you run away. Let me just deal with this guy first. The dog will be back. Wow, they're just uh, really coming after me early. Where's that dog? I don't want to use my bandage yet. So that's like a, well, not a dingo, whatever it's called. Is he charging at me? Yep. So you can see there he's going to sprint at me. It lasts for a little bit. But you can just avoid it. It doesn't help when you're in a building though. If you're fighting a bunch of guys. You're hitting multiple multiples. So there's a dingo over there. He's coming back. Let's get some more arrows made here. Oh, of course there's more than one. So much for early meat. I have no idea which guy's which now, though. Yeah, this guy's sprinting at me, too. 
and it lasts for a certain amount of time, no matter how, how much you hit them. So you just gotta take it easy. Now those are all power attacks of the club too. So it took a while. Do I want to go after those dingoes? I'm calling them dingoes. They're coyotes, but dingoes, man, Australia. Here it comes. He'll be back. Let's wait for him to come back while we talk about this build. So yeah, other than the nodes being on the surface like this, to being able to see what's what, which I think is, I don't know, I was kind of up in the air about the change, but it certainly streamlines mining no longer. Do you have to just kind of go down and, you know, dig up gravel to find out what's what and then kind of go down and hopefully you find a, a good node of stuff. This way you know if you dig straight down, you're going to find a bunch of stuff. Come on, buddy. Bring it back. Right here. Oh. I die from a dog. Yeah, that music freaked me out there for a second. I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm gonna have to turn that off, I think. I'm gonna have to use my first aid bandage. Is he coming back or what's he doing? It's right there. Forget him. We're gone. So they changed the textures for, or the uh, the look of the cars too, which is kind of nice. Oh, nice. Hammer. Let's scrap the other axe here. That's better than mine. Oops, why did I do that? Ah. Anyways, as you can see, my brain <laughs> is not <laughs> functioning all that well. But they've actually added an extra slot here at the beginning, um, which is nice so that you don't have to uh, start off with, um, uh, like, no carrying capacity. So they've changed that system, which is great. I'm so glad I'm starting right next to the trader. Last thing I wanted to do... Oh, for crying out loud. Well, at least we get some feathers. Um, yeah, so at least we're starting next to the trader. I wanted to build a house right next to the trader, but I'm wondering if this is going to be um, the wrong place to do that. Oh, wait, we got the... No, we're, we're okay. Take those. I can afford to carry more things now at the beginning, which is nice. Let's do this, though. So they've changed water. Water's got like a 4% chance now of... Um, let's do this. Recipes. You could use craft. It has a 4% chance of, of um, causing dysentery, which is obviously what you don't want. Early in the game, of course. Uh, we don't know about this place. Let's see what we get in here. So, yeah, you gotta be... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, you don't have to re get... Um, like, you don't repair your tools with, uh, uh, like, forged iron stuff anymore. You have to use a uh, repair kit, which is forged iron and duct tape. Which I think is kind of nice. Because it's pretty much all one standard... Uh, one standard repair for everything. Okay, let's go in here. Real quick, let's get these quests over with. Uh, let's find out what he's got here. So, we don't have a chemistry station, unfortunately. What else do we have back here? Anything? Some tranche. Uh, let's just scrap that. So, as you can see, all the icons have changed. Oh, crap. That was a bird, wasn't it? That was a vulture. Okay, that works, which is nice. They've changed the recipe for concrete too, which I think is good. That doesn't work. So, so far we've got a, a mixer. What do we got here? Anything? Oh, two duct tape. Nice. Now we need this forged iron. And what have we got in here? Destroy workbench. So we've got a mixer in here. All right. Which we're going to need. Scrap that. 
We're gonna need the mixer because no longer from the uh, cement bags you pick up concrete, you just pick up cement now. So we're gonna have to make concrete, which is fine. I think that's Thank a good change. God, a customer. Hey, Jen, what's I thought up? You might be one of the dead. So we don't really have anything to sell, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna ditch this. This is just a note from the Duke of Navisgane, saying that he saved our lives and whatever, whatnot, kept us alive. We're gonna ditch that for now because we don't need it. Yeah, we don't need the pine seed. All right, so, um, oh my god, he's got a gyrocopter. So you can buy more things in here now than you used to be able to. So you can buy like gyrocopters and you can buy workbenches and chemistry stations and all kinds of stuff. Uh, junk turret. Nice, we can make that later. Uh, I'm not going to bother looking too much in here for stuff. But they've got like schematics and books and stuff now too. So you can build things earlier, which is great. Um, and then book series, which gives you different skills, like, um, blade weapons do 10% more damage at night, things like that, right? Art of mining, um, can't work if you can't see, learn how to craft lanterns and mining hats, which is kind of cool. So, you know, they've changed the system, we'll figure that out as we go through. Alright, but that's it for this, we can't really do anything here now anyway. So we need to go find a place to temporarily live. Uh, friggin' birds. They're the bane of Alpha 17, they're the bane of Alpha 18. Although the zombies have become far more deadly. Hey Mo! Got a dingo on that side, so let's not go that way. We'll take on the bird instead. I think we can play batter up with this guy. Come on buddy, bring it in. Bring it in for some loving. We have another one on this side. Oh, I got him. Oh my god. I wonder how that's going to last during this game. Oh, damn it. Nah, I'm bleeding out. Come on. Didn't want to have to use my bandage, and now I got to use the bandage. So headshots become more important than ever. Die already. And I feel like you gotta be a lot closer with your weapons and stuff, like melee weapons now. Except for the spear. The spear, you can have a distance on it. Let's get a spear made here. Uh, where are you? Let's get some arrows. Oh, we only make six. Eh? Oh, did I just use up all my stone? I probably did. Damn you. Uh, that dingo was over here. Is that a chicken? I see a chicken over here. I did. Nice. Meat's back on the menu, boys. So when I first started playing, I was like getting really frustrated because I was having a hard time finding bird's nests because I think they've cut down the number of bird's nests in the game. At least it feels that way. Um, so I was getting frustrated because I couldn't make a lot of arrows, but the game is really looking more for a more of a balanced build with stuff. Ooh, lockpicks, gonna need those. All right, uh, let's head to. Looks like there's a town over here. Uh, I wanted to build right next to the trader, but I don't think I want to do that. Look at the lake here. They've changed the water system now too, so there's a lot more lakes and ponds and stuff, which is nice. And you can find clay right down by the edge here. If you need clay, you can get it down here. Like right here, this is all clay. Damn you. God, they're right on me from the beginning in this game. So, rotten flesh has become more important because you need that to make far farming crops now, like uh, plots now, which are great um, because you no longer need a hoe to, to uh, whole earth you can just make a farming plot but it's a little bit expensive you need 10 rotten meat you need uh, I think it's a hundred clay 25 nitrate powder it's a fair bit of stuff you need okay I think we're close enough to the trader I mean we're a couple of hundred meters away but that's fine we're gonna go into the town here it looks like it's gonna be in a regular biome oh yeah also if you notice some graphic glitches in the background it's just because uh, it's the uh, it's a 
a uh, demo version. Where is the... What am I missing? Oh, right, I didn't take the... Yeah, I can't make it yet because I haven't got the skill. Ah, uh, it's not default. Right. All right, let's get a place to live here. I got skill points to spend, but I don't want to do it right away because I wanted to be able to show you how the new skill system has changed. Because they've changed that a fair bit too. That took me a little while to figure out. Once again, I don't adapt to change very well. So um, once I figured it out, it's like, oh, this makes a lot more sense. And you can actually um, streamline your opening. I, I call them opening moves. It's just the way I talk about the way I play games and stuff. I want chrysanthemums. Um, so the opening moves of the game, uh, if you take it like chess, actually, let's go back to the water source. Um, if you take it like chess and think about the opening moves, what are you going to do most of the time when you're playing? Now, I found that trader early on, but I don't think um, the way I'm going to allocate my skill points, it doesn't matter if you find the trader early on or not, or if you're in a town or not. I think it's probably the best way to go with it. Um, because you can get certain things really early that were gated on the last version. Um, and because they were gated, you had a little while to wait before you could actually do certain things. With this one, you don't. Um, if you just sort of pay attention to the way they've got the skills laid out, um, and if you get lucky finding a few books early on, that's great too. But if you don't, um, you can actually quickly get into a few things that can really help you out early game. And I like that. I like that feeling. Because there's so much in this game, and it's difficult. Uh, it's not an easy game. So we want to get some uh, piss water here. That was a rabbit. I know. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him because we're starting to run short on time here for the day. Ooh. Never short on time for bird's nest, though. Um, but yeah, normally when I play Seven Days to Die, I had a ton of arrows, like tons of like feather, or air, sorry, feathers. I had like more than I was ever going to use. Uh, and when I first started playing this, I was like searching for bird's nests everywhere, and I was just burning through my arrows. But it's this game is like you got to think about how you're using your resources a little more early game. Later in the game, you've got lots, and you don't have to worry about it. But early on, you just don't want to be burning up all your arrows because you want to save the uh, feathers. Okay, let's go look at this town, figure out where we can live. I'll stop looting for now. Except for that stone, because we need that stone. Oh, and this tree stump. Did I just hear a bear? That's the music system. It's freaking me out. I'm gonna have to turn that off. Give me one second here. It's gonna kill me. So let's go back, audio. Um, where is the... Turn, let's turn that down. Let's just turn the music off completely. Do uh, the dynamic music off. There we go. And then listen to here if it was a bear or not. Because if it was, it could be very bad. I don't hear the bear. Okay, so the uh, reason why I want to hit up all the stumps is because we're looking for honey. Because infection is a very real thing in this game. Now. I mean, it was before in earlier builds, but it is definitely um, a thing now. So we need to be very, very careful about being infected. Uh, my earlier playthrough was up to about 25% infection. And I, was, I spent like three days looking for uh, stumps just to get enough honey to be able to reduce my infection. I couldn't get it. I couldn't buy or get antibiotics. Well, that's nice. Steel tool parts. Painkillers. Definitely gonna need the painkillers. It's almost as good as finding beer. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, I guess. Um, so we want to try and get some farming stuff going early, I think. There's a few things I want to get, but a lot of the recipes, the seed recipes are gated. Not gated, but level gated. You have to have a certain skill with uh, stuff. All right, so we got to choose a place here. Day one, night um, base. Now, is this a barn? That's oh, the Lazy H. I know I said I wasn't going to loot, but I really should. Oh, I wonder if we should take on that... Uh, that military base here. 
Is that military? What is that? They've got a lot of new POIs in the game too, which is great. Okay, how are we doing for what? 149 and 20 stone, which really isn't much. Uh, let's get some wood and stone here. What is that? Breads, pastries, and muffins. So yeah, they've done a really great job. There's a lot of new textures, um, a lot of new um, POIs. So yeah, we don't want to be drinking basic water. Oh, we need a cooking pot. Damn. Uh, that's going to be bad if we can't find a cooking pot. Bell's Bakery or Prowlin' Pete's. What the hell is Prowlin' Pete's? Is this a restaurant? All right, let's see where they want us to go in here. I should go up to the roof. That door's blocked. Make sure we kick that can. So we're trying to stealth around here. Oh, we got a zombie down here. Wake up! So there's her run. So that's four arrows. Five arrows. So not too bad. And we got three back. Uh, let's make some more. Hang on to a bit of the stone we got left. Looks like that's where we're going in. And let's hope we find a cooking pot. Because if we do, we're out of here right away. Although we could make this our home. It's got a wall on the outside. We could just go up on the roof for the night. We clear this place out. Drop our bedroll down. Better not go in that way. What's up, buddy? Hang on to this for me. Ooh, juicy. So some of these new POIs don't really have a lot of zombies and stuff in them. Let's loot afterwards. Um, they're meant to be like starter POIs. Oh, we got a roof here. Uh, stay quiet. I think we're clear. It would be nice if there was only two guys in here. He says, and then two more show up. Really gotta stop doing that. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. It's almost like she didn't appreciate being shot in the face. Damn it. Let's try and drop her. Why does it do that? It unloads. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Stop hiding behind your buddy. Oh, shoot. I mistimed it. So there's a new timing, too, because the zombies will swing before they get to you. So you walk into their swing. So you got to kind of like make it look like you're going after them and then like stop and then they swing and miss you and then you can move in for the attack. It's a weird kind of uh, rhythm now. I mean, it's not weird, but I mean, it's different for sure. All right, I think we're good now. The whole damn place is a drop ceiling. Free wood. Looks like we got another room back here. Let's scrap this first. So I clear that. Clear. I like to clear the chairs and stuff out because if there's uh, this is outside, I think. Mm, yep. Okay. There's the roof. See, it unloads the bow. 
It can be frustrating when you're trying to kill zombies fast and you're changing back and forth between your weapons. Alright, that looks quiet to me. Let's loot. Well, that's great. Hopefully we can find some more medical supplies. Ooh, <coughs> excuse me. Be nice to be able to find something else. But as you can see, they got a lot of new objects in the game, which is great. Leather we can get later. What do we got in here? Ooh, good. So the canned food has 0% chance. Oh, another one of those. Nice. Has 0% chance of uh, dysentery, which is great. And dysentery basically wipes out your uh, stamina. Like, not completely, but pretty damn close. Oh. Free arrow back. Alright, let's just loot the rest of the stuff. Nitrate powder. Need that for the farm plots. Somebody's outside. But as you can see, this POI, pretty simple to go through. We better go out there and deal with that guy. I don't know how uh, it would be later in game, but early game, not bad. Come on, give me a cooking pot. Damn it. We still don't have a cooking pot. Ooh, some coffee. What are you working on out here? Oh, it's Mo. What's up, buddy? Mo's mad. When isn't Mo mad, though? Oh, that went right through him. I've had a few instances where I've attacked zombies. And my attack, or my, my, like, I've had spears pass straight through them. Weird shiz like that has happened. Okay, let's grab this. Then we're going to go up to the roof. We don't have a cooking pot, but we do have some water, so I don't feel so bad right now. Oh, suitcase. What do we got here? Yeah, some ammo. The ammo is more plentiful in the game, too, which is good, because we're going to need it. Let's close this. Yeah, let's close this. Let's hope there's, like, some good boxes of stuff on the roof here. Oh, it's not the roof. Ooh, okay. Canned food. Some pears, nice. It's kind of nice. There's like a whole upper floor here. Oh. Yeah, a crawler. I don't know why he didn't hear me before. You'd think he would have. It's deaf, I guess. Uh. It's like a freaking chest mash going through here. I don't see anybody. Doesn't mean there ain't anybody here, though. Oh. Got one. I think that's it. Nope. Every time I open my mouth. Maximize these arrows here. Oh, that was close. I shouldn't have done that. If I had a spear, I would have used the spear on him, but... Mm. See what I mean? That looked like it went right through him. This guy's always hard to hit because his head bobbles. Oh. Oh, I got him. Okay. He was in mid-swing and he died. Alright, what do we got over here? Some more food. Always a good welcome thing. Soup stock. Alright, let's see what we got in here first. And we'll check the big crate. We, it may be locked. We'll have to see. Alright, what do we got? One potato. Oh, nice. It's not locked. And that's really nice. 
stun baton, shotgun tube extender mod, okay, AK, 9 mil ammo, uh, let's drop, wow, that's actually pretty good, let's drop all this stuff in here, we need to go out and find a, uh, we need the stone though, take the stone out, uh, we need to go find a cooking pot, I have no idea where we're going to find that, we need this, we need the wood, where is it? We should take this with us in case we could end up making a... Let's drop the land claim block down here. Uh, just for now. Let's put it right here. That house might have one. We better hurry up. Uh, I'm wondering if that's the best place to go right there. Gonna need to make some arrows here. Uh, let's go. Oh, we can make a stone spear now. How come we couldn't make it before? What? Am I just going crazy? Did I just... I don't have any feathers on me. That's why I can't make arrows. Ugh. All right, arrows, arrows, arrows. Uh, sorry, feathers, feathers, feathers. Where the hell are you? They changed the icons and I'm having a hard time spotting stuff now. All right, let's just make as many arrows as we can make. Did I just make spears? No, I didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I thought I was making spears there for a second. Let's do this. I can put these guys up here. All right, uh, I'm not going down that way. We'll have to find another way up here. Probably make some frames. Let's grab the, some wood here first before we go try and find that cooking pot. If we can't get one today, so be it. We got enough food and stuff to survive the night, so it'll be all right. Ah, construction zombie figures. Let's get five of these. Six, good enough. And let's see if this house has got something. I don't want to go into that apartment. I'm sure the apartment will have something, but don't want to do that right now. God, his zombies are everywhere. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, book. Well, a whole lot of that for now, and I'll show you when we get back to the house here. Okay, go around this way. At least the stone, the primitive stuff, you can repair. Um, we need stone. Somebody outside. I, almost want, I don't want to be down there when they come in. The one thing about it is you can hear the... Fo oh, that's nice. Two repair kits, some nails. Rebar. We're not going to get what we want today. Take this, though. So the cement, like I said, we're going to need a mixer for this. Let's get that. Yeah, cobble, baby. Okay, what do we got here? Anything? Oh, wire tools. Okay. Can't use it yet, but we will later on. Oh, some more water, which is great. Want to be able to make red tea. It's not as good as yucca, I don't think. Uh, oh, great. But uh, the good thing about it is that it um, helps with digestion. Not exactly sure what in-game benefits that is, but uh, it sounds like it's important. What's up, buddy? Uh, I need to go in here, so let's clear you out if we can. I get the spear on you. I find the spear mechanic a little weird, like... Oh, he's mad. Eh, I can't pick it up. There we go. It's a little weird, because, like, being able to throw a spear into a zombie and then pull it out again and then throw it into them again just seems very, very strange to me. Like, if anything, you should be able to throw it into the zombie and then push him around with it. You know what I mean? 
Okay, stone tools can be repaired normally, which is great. We're going to go in here. That's the kitchen, right? Just going to bust through the wall. Looks like the kitchen here. Spear is nice because it's got a longer reach. Okay, that's goldenrod tea, even better. Okay, I don't think we're going to find what we want in here. Oh, another thing we can learn a skill from. No, we're not going to find what we want in here. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to another house. Um, what's the chance? What's the chance? Oh, we got a, uh, a couple things here we can get some stuff from. Ooh, okay, nice boots, ammo, football helmet, more boots. Where's the kitchen here? Yeah, front door was wide open. I should just came in that way. So the one thing they added as a skill was being able to get brass from doors. Like brass doorknobs from doors, which I thought was pretty cool. You gotta break the door in the process, but that's fine. Okay, what do we got in here? Somebody's breathing. Let's just close this. And loot the pantry. See what we got here. Well, somebody's awake. There's our cooking pot. All right, we can go home. Some acid. Coffee maker. Let's go outside. Yeah, it sure does. All right, let's go home. Excellent. Where's our frames here? Uh, wood frames. I don't hear a zombie walking there. Okay, I'm sure we could pick up a lot more stuff. But we don't need that right now. Let's grab this and this. I think we need a bit more grass fiber, if I'm not mistaken. One thing we're going to have to find is a couple of iron nodes. I don't know how much grass fiber we're going to need. Just grab a bit here. Um, we're going to need to find um, some iron. I want to be able to start making some iron stuff early and we can do that we just need to find um, a good iron node shit I don't want to fight that zombie wonder if we can stay away from him at least get on the roof shoot him from the roof get up here what what Because I'm an idiot, that's what. There we go. We lose one frame, but no big deal. Let's get back up here. Might as well keep that closed. We're not going to be going up and down that way. We're going to wrench this apart when we get our wrench. We'll get some forged iron stuff out of it. All right, so that's going to be day one. What we'll do is we'll put... Yeah, we won't put that there because that'll just fall. I think one more frame here. Make three, four more. Uh, what we'll do is just put it like, I don't think we're going to get attacked by vultures here, but I'm going to put a makeshift roof, roof over us just for now, just in case. All right, let's dump this stuff off. We need the cooking pot out. We can scrap that. Let's scrap this. We don't have very much iron, do we? No, we got like nothing. Uh, keep that out. Uh, put all this stuff in here. Stones can stay out. Cool. Goldenrod tea can go in for now. Figure out what we're going to wear. Might as well wear the football helmet because why not, right? Uh, nails, repair kits can go in right now because we don't need them at the moment. Okay, so these things here. Uh, can't find your pants. No problem. We got you covered. Literally, this uh, how to make your own denim jeans, skirts, and overalls. And this one is Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. 
craft this item. Just use it. Let's wear the cowboy boots. Armor rating 7. That's not bad. So they, they come installed with dyes now. So you can modify these. Some of them you can. This one you can't. But you can change the colors now, which is kind of cool, right? This one's got brown dye as well. So we modify this. We can take the brown dye out. Put it in something else if we want. The thing about the dyes, though, is they take... Um, just wear these. And let's wear the football armor. The, uh, the dyes take up a slot. Um, one slot each in here in your storage so it's not a good idea to uh to store them actually let's scrap these warm boots get some uh some cloth fiber so there's nighttime um we're gonna make bacon and eggs or should we wait uh, i want to see if we can make um some red tea too so we got those where is our chrysanthemums here we go do that all right, let's make a campfire. Apologize for it being dark. Let's just quickly get up a torch. Uh, we're going to throw it right here, I think. Yep. Okay, cool. Now we can see. Campfire. Just drop it here for now. Cooking pot. Okay, so skills. They changed the skill trees. So they've moved some stuff around. Um, all your weapon skills aren't in perception anymore. They moved them around. Um... And we've got four skills to start off with. So we're going to start off with a few things here. Um, we're going to go right to advanced engineering and get blacksmith. This way we can make a forge early on and make forged iron. The good thing about this is that we can start making some iron tools and weapons. So we'll take that right away. Um, I mean, we could wait, but I'm not going to bother. And the next thing I want to do is take Pummel Pete. Uh, Pummel Pete here is, gives, gives me the chance to unlock uh, iron club crafting. You can't make, you can't just make iron clubs off the bat anymore. You need to have the skill. So, which I kind of agree with, but uh, we're going to take that one. We're going to buy that. Um, then we're going to go over to Perception and take Javelin Master. Um, spears do 10% more damage, but it unlocks Iron Spear Crafting. We'll buy that. And then we're going to go back to a minor 69 here under Strength because this allows us to make Iron Tools. Um, you can't make anything but Stone Tools unless you upgrade minor 69 er so it's no longer under under intellect, which is where it was before. The higher your intellect, your better your skill, your better your tool crafting. Um, now minor 69er covers your tool crafting. So once we get this ma uh, made, we can start uh, making iron tools and stuff. So we're just going to buy that. And those are our four to start off with. So we've got a melee weapon. We'll have a um, iron reinforced club. We're going to have an iron javelin. I'm not too worried about the bow right now. The bow is really just for pulling early on just this, if there's like four zombies in a room you just shoot one in the head pull them out and kill them that's all we're going to use that for to start off with so i'm not really worried about making better bows uh plus you need uh, components to make better bows but we'll leave it for now um so yeah better we'll have a better javelin which is good uh, we're gonna have a better melee weapon which is great minor 69 will be able to make better tools right off the bat which is fantastic and that's all going to be unlocked by making sure we uh, buy the blacksmith skill to start uh, so we can make a forge. Now all we have to do is get the items to do that, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, so the forge only needs, yeah, small stone. They've removed the bellows out of here, which is great. Three short iron pipes, which we can get easily by smashing the toilets down below. Some duct tape, which we can easily make. Leather, which we can easily get from down below. Clay soil, we can dig up outside and stones we already have. So it's going to be pretty simple. All the materials are just right around our base to make this, get this going, and we'll start melting up all the iron we have to make forged iron. The forged iron recipe um, is more expensive than it used to be. It's 12 and 6 now, um, which is fine. I mean, we can easily get more iron. We can easily get more clay. There's tons of nodes around. It's easy to find now, so we'll be fine there. Um, but for now, we're going to end this episode here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to get more into this next time when we come back. We're going to look for iron node first thing. Hit up that. Grab some clay. Uh, come back. Make a forge. And get some new tools made so we can go around. Then we're going to search the town. Find a better place to live than this. Because we're not going to make this our permanent home. It's just a temporary base for now. Uh, and then once we get a, a new place to live, we're going to start fortifying it. And uh, making it look cool. Um, I want to try and get a chemistry station early on so I can get some paint. Paint it up. Make it look, make it look awesome. Was that an animal out here? Huh. 
Anyway, we're gonna have to find some meat tomorrow too because we're not gonna have a lot. Oh yeah, we wanna just get some stuff cooking here. So let's get our, um, where are you here? Should probably do this first and let's get, oh, we've got one glue so we can make the extra duct tape for tomorrow, that's fine. All right, cool, let's get these going here. So we should be able to make, oh, we can't make it because we didn't take, all right, can't do it right now. Uh, I was hoping we could do red tea and uh, bacon and eggs, but we didn't take the, um, yeah, we didn't take the, uh, we can make, well, we can't make red tea yet. We can make bottled water. Um, boiled egg, bacon and eggs lock. We didn't take the uh, master chef, which we'll do next time. That'll be our next skill. So that's fine. We don't really need to worry about that though, because we're okay right now. And uh, let's turn this into bandage. And we'll say, see you later till next time. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, <laughs> sorry, if you like the video, drop a like. Oh my God, my brain is mush. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. We're almost at full health, so it's awesome. All right, so until next time, we'll see you all later.